Hi there, Pisces, and welcome back to Star Lordist Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of um, August the 14th through to the um, 20th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Pisces. First up, we have Major Arcana of the World in the upright. Followed then by Major Arcana, the Hierophant in the Upright. Next, we have the Two of Swords reversed. Followed then by the Page of Wands in the Upright. And lastly, we have Six of Pentacles in the Upright. Your overall energy, my dear Pisces, is the world in the Upright position. Well, this is a, an energy that represents closing out a cycle. For some of you, I call this the Graduation Card. Some of you could be maybe graduating after a course and now you're ready to go ahead and uh, enter the world of whatever subject matter you were studying. Others of you, this could be about closing out a cycle such as and you worked in this field of, of or job for a very long time and you're closing that out. You could be starting getting ready to start your own business or do something different. For others of you, this could be about finding uh, about signing the final divorce papers after a divorce. This is not something that would be new coming out. This would just be the final step indicating something is, you know, over and done with. This can also come up when uh, we are getting ready to retire and travel the world. <laughs> Sometimes this can come up when we are getting ready to sell our house that we've owned for many years, maybe raise your family there, and it's time to downsize, to now move, move on in life. This could be just closing out any kind of cycle, something that's been a big part of your life for a long time, and now it's come to an end and, and you're moving on. It's the end of the journey here. Right at the beginning of the week, we have the Hierophant, the Taurus energy in the upright position. This represents making a commitment, signing papers, um, uh, contracts, that kind of thing. This is where we could be, uh, especially if you're dealing with the government or um, the school system or anything like that, where there's term positions, this could be signing a contract for a term position. This can represent maybe working for, for a church or congregation, perhaps even joining some type of spiritual uh, church or a new church or something like that, making a commitment to it. It can also represent marriage commitments too. This is committing to another person. It could be signing a marriage contract. Um, it's just all kinds of contracts. It's just committing to something and being serious about it. The Hierophant is very, very serious about whatever it is they're committing to. Moving on we have the two of swords in the reverse position this could indicate making a decision well you've made a commitment and a decision here pisces it looks like you're very decisive this week um, maybe because of this you know your world is changing your world is switching up and you're making you know you have to make new moves when something comes to an end you have to open another door so it looks like you're doing so uh, jumping into something else like say for example if you just sold your home this could be you purchasing another home right signing a contract a mortgage contract and this is you making the final decision to make that move so the two of swords in the upright is where we're trying to facilitate between do i go this way do i go that way but i can't really see my way clear because i feel like i don't have all the information when the card is inverted however this is points back to the ace of swords which is an energy of having the information that's a sort of truth and clarity and so forth so this is where you feel that you have the all the information that you need now to make an informed decision it looks like you do so moving on towards the weekend we have the page of wands in the upright position this is the court card could be representing a person if it's representing a person this is fire energy aries leo sag sun moon or rising pages often do uh, govern business and enterprise. They can govern travel, passion, excitement, adventure. So it could be good news about any of those things for some of you. If you are on single and on the dating scene, this could be somebody who has taken a fancy to you and is messaging you, wanting to perhaps go and do something fun and exciting and passionate. Uh, for others of you, this could be 
uh, finally hearing from somebody that you've been waiting a long time to hear from. The news finally comes in, and it's good. I really like the Page of Wands news because it always represents something fun, something exciting. For others of you, maybe you've been waiting to hear about travel plans or something like that from someone else or even your own, and this could be that coming through. It could be a package that you've been waiting for for a long time finally arrives. And uh, it could just be really fun, good, exciting news that you want to share with people. And the last card you have is the Six of Pentacles in the upright position very balanced energy six is as um, as well as this is the generosity card the yes card if you should say for example maybe you have decided to make a commitment to a house say for example this could be you going to the bank and getting a mortgage for said house or condo or whatever it is you need because this is usually a yes card if you're seeking uh, any kind of financial you know compensation for anything so this is beautiful energy remember energies can go both ways so it's possible that somebody needs your financial assistance for something and you're there you're put in you're in a position where you're ready willing and able to do so so there there could be you uh, you know helping somebody else out but this is also generosity in spirit it's generosity all the way around very balanced it can indicate equal work for equal pay so if this is good news coming your way about a job this could be one of those jobs that you know where you get compensated very well for your time and experience so that's what i have for you my dear pisces thank you so much for joining me i really hope you have a fantastic week and um i hope the reading helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe and i will see you again next week take care much love namaste bye bye for now